Hi, uh, this is Meghnath. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn about how to install SQL Server 2014 Express Edition. So the first thing is uh, we need to install, to install SQL Server 2014 Express, we need to install database engine. So, and then, and then database engine is a crux for SQL Server database. And then we need to install user interface for this database engine, which is called Management Studio Express. So management studio express so we'll see how to install both of them now okay the first step is i'm going to search for sql server 2014 express edition in google chrome and then i am seeing the results here you can see that um, you can see that the first one is a microsoft link as download sql server 2014 express so i'm going to click on this uh, if i click on this open a new tab I'm going to see this result now. And uh, now it's taking a while. Okay, so now you can see that uh, I'm seeing this Microsoft website which has a download button, and I have Microsoft SQL Server 2014. So let me click on download. And once you click on download, you can notice here that there are multiple files that need to be downloaded. So remember, in case if your system is 60, 64 bit, all you need to do is you need to download first this is SQL Server Database Engine for 64-bit system. You have to check this checkbox, and then you have to install Management Studio Express for 64-bit system, which is this one. So this is Management Studio Express. So you can see the summary here, which you have selected, and this both of both these things are ones which are required for 64-bit software. I repeat again: the first one is Database Engine for 64-bit system, and the database of Management Studio Express for 64-bit system. And also, if your system is 32-bit system, you have to install the respective 32-bit system, 32-bit system database engine, and 32-bit system Management Studio Express. So, so these two things which you need to install if your system is 32-bit system. So my system is 64-bit, so I'm going to select database engine for 64-bit, and SQL Server Express Edition, Express, SQL Server Management Studio Express for 64 bit, and then click on Next. And when I click on Next, I selected the download option and I downloaded them. And once I download here, you can see that in my system, I have I have them here. SQL Server uh, This is uh, the first one which you see here is is the database engine, and the second one which you see here is uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Express edition. So let me click on install the first one. I'm going to right click on this database engine. First, you need to install database engine and run as administrator. And so it's asking me to uh, allow, and I'm going to click on yes. And then it shows me to choose the directory for extracted files. So I'm fine with the current uh, directory which is there. Click on OK, and this starts extracting the same path. Extraction is in progress, and once the extraction is done, this will automatically open a pop-up in a minute. So you need to wait after this extraction is done, it will automatically open a pop-up. Okay, so we're almost there. We are about to complete the extraction process, and now, now you need to wait for just a couple of seconds and it will bring a pop-up window with the steps to install SQL Server Database Engine. Now you can see that I got a pop-up message saying that please wait while Microsoft SQL Server setup processes the current operation. Okay, so I need to select the new server standalone installation, so click on this and and now, once I click on that, wait for a second. Should please wait while set a process of current operation. So that brings up this window, and here you need you, you need to select this accept the terms or license terms. And this one is turn on the customer's experience improvement program. So so if you want to send any any reporting issues which you might face or you may not face. If you want to report them to Microsoft, you can check this checkbox, otherwise you can leave it and click on next. And 
it will check the basic things like you need to restart your system or any firewall is blocking it or you can you can so it will check some rules so you can see the detail here so everything is passed so now uh, you can select this option if you want to use Microsoft just to check for any updates it's always good to recommend so it's always good to check for updates in case of Microsoft releases any patches uh, for uh, SQL Server or reporting setup so otherwise you can leave that should be fine so click on next you can manually uh, check for the updates in case if you don't opt it for option now so it's taking a while and now click on next so still waiting so just a second So here uh, I need to select everything database engine services and anyway I select I check this option select all and this is the path which is showing so I'm fine with this path so click on next and now the actual installation process will start in a couple of minutes so so now it asks for whether you want a named instance or a default instance. So, so the named instance is nothing but if you want to have multiple instances in your system, like your server name slash SQL Express, or if you want a default instance, which you can actually uh, log in. So I'm selecting default instance here. So, so you can also select the same default instance and click on next. It is taking a while. Okay, so in the next screen, it asks for account name and password, so so you don't need to worry about it. Uh, it will take so click on next. And then, if you want to select Windows authentication mode or mixed mode authentication mode, so so anyway, so while logging to SQL Server, so um, you might need uh, with if you need Windows authentication mode, you can select this. Mixed mode means it will enable both Windows and SQL Server authentication. So in this case, you have to give some password, and um, so you have to give uh, let me give some password as so my caps lock is on. So I'm going to give the password as ab at at uh, yum one two three four five. So let me copy this and. Paste it. Paste it. So, and I'm, my current user has been added here. So let me click on uh, next. And now it starts the actual installation process. So, setting the install state, and it will start the installation process now. So it will almost take around uh, 15 minutes, so or less than that. So let me. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording now and I will resume when this step is done. Okay, so we're almost there. Okay, so we're done with the installation of uh, the database engine part. So now the second step is we need to work on, we need to install SQL Server Management Studio Express. So I'm going to click on close and I'm going to click on close for this one as well. So we're done with this installation. So now I'm going to right click on this uh, Management Studio Express and run as administrator. The same thing I'm going to do for installing Management Studio Express. But now we already have SQL Server Database Engine installed. So now let me show you how to install this Management Studio Express. This also asks for the same step, extract um, and find the local directory, click on OK. And it is extracting the process. So after extracting it automatically opens um, automatically checks the setup.exe so you'll need to execute so let's click on it. So you need to wait for a minute after extraction. Okay, so we're almost there. Extraction process is about to complete. So 
similar to SD observer database engine, we are saying that space wide where microservice SD observer setup processes the current operation. Now you need to select uh, uh, add features to instant existing installations as the first option and then so let's see. So now you need to click on next and it again does the same step. And here you need to select, uh, since this is managed with Tree Express, you need to select uh, add features to the existing instance. So uh, select this one and it's your server. So click on next. Now select the option, select all as usual, and click on next. So we're almost there. We're done with the installation. We're about to complete the installation. So we're almost there. We're about to complete the installation. So Everything is updated, all the software is uh, managed to be installed properly. And now we can close this and close this. Now let's try to open SQL Server that is installed in my system and let's see uh, if I can log in successfully. So I just open SQL Server 2014 Management Studio and it's taking a while. Okay, so it's asking for uh, Lenovo PC, that's my system name. And since I have selected there while logging in, uh, while installing SQL Server database engine, I have selected the default instance. So so I just need to give a server name. If I, have, if I have selected the named instance, I have to give slash the named instance which I have selected there while installing that. So since I have selected defaults, uh, default instance, I don't need to give the named instance. I just need to give the server name here and click on connect. Yes, I'm able to log in now, and you can see that by default, you do not have any databases here. So they're all done. So you can click on new query, and you can create a database, and you can play around with this. So, so we're all done with the installation of SQL Server, which involves two steps. One is the first one is database engine, and the second one is SQL Server Management Studio Express. So, so I'm going to create a simple database now, and just to verify if the installation is successful or not. So. So I'm going to do this, create, database, learn, and we are good. So let me click on execute. So always better practice to select it and we'll click on execute. And I am getting an error because, okay, the previous installation of my SQL server has this learn database already. So, so now I'm just going to give my DB123. I'm going to create a database with my DB123. Click on Execute, and you can see that the command completed successfully. Now, let me reference this. Right-click on this, reference this, and you can see that my DB123 is there. So, and then, and then you can use your my DB123 any simple database you can create here. I'm going to click on Execute, and you can see that it's, it got changed here. So, I'm going to select this my DB123, and in this I can create the tables and I can play around with the database. So we are good with installation of SQL Server Management Studio and SQL Server Database Engine. Thanks for watching and if you like the video, do subscribe and if you have any suggestions, feel free to